Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Paul Massive Day, and today let's check out the new Oleana and Garbodor over here, as uh, she is a really, really, really powerful poison type damage deal, right? She should have, like, around, you know, um, the second what best poison DPS on top of having a poison type max move, and by far, not even close, um, the strongest poison type, um, nuke in the game. On top of all those debuffs that she gives, right, on top of the chance of... Um, badly poison, right? Flinching, and, and you know, among other things that she does. So, anyways, let's go try her out against the Poison Wake Master. Which, thankfully, there is a Poison Wake Master mode, so there's that. <laughs> it does have a condition where we do have to um, poison them, right? Yourself. Or sass them, whatever, to do like real Come damage. On, but, uh, you know, at least it's not like the other one, the Sentry Entry one. So, <laughs> okay. Let's start with that. So uh, let's get a gunk shot in. We do have a guaranteed poison though, with um, with uh. Oh shoot! Yeah. Oh well. Uh, we do need move gauge boost too, just for the um, speed. So we are gonna start with a full DPS grid over here with uh with the big DPS buffers, <laughs> Tapu Bulu and um, and special costume Steven, right? You know, some of the some of the best in the game, right over here. And yeah, we're gonna get our Sporty X sync in with Tabu Bulu here as well. And uh, see if we get a poison here would be nice with the gunk shot. So again, we could like actually do some damage off of these. If not, we'll just go ahead and like max move after our sync because that that's a guaranteed poison, right? On the G Max Malador. All right, sure, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Hmm. Here we go, Sporty X Sync, boom. So let's get some more speed as well from um, Bulu and stuff. Yep, this is a guaranteed AoE poison over here. And uh, that's. Uh, I always like G Max Garbodor. <laughs> it's funny, look at all this, like, it has a train on it. I don't think it has a train on it, actually. Of all the transportation vehicles that are on it, I don't think the train is one of them. But, you know, it just has a bunch of stuff on it, right? There's, like, a, there's like an airplane, there's a there's a boat, right? Like, as a person who's not a huge fan of a lot of, like, Unova Pokemon designs, people always crap on, like, Garbodor's design. Oh, it's just a garbage bag. And, look, there's a lot of, you know, Unova and Pokemon designs that I'm not a fan of. I don't mind Garbodor's design. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Of all the Unova Pokemons, like, that's, I don't know, it's one that I'm more fond of. <laughs> I don't know why people hate Garbodor so much, man. What's what's wrong with a pile of garbage being a Pokemon? What's wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it looks fine. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I know we have all the uh, like uh, other extra stuff, but like still. Let's uh, let's let's hit one without man. Let's hit one without. Well, it's hard to have without. Yep, poison rebuff. You have minus six physical defense. Still. Oh my God, <laughs> Steven! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> How did this dude's normal sink? Well, he did get all his stuff maxed out, right? And uh, I think does have his multiplier in there. But like, damn. All right, we are also on the the, the first one, by the way, as well. If you were uh, curious, damn. That was, uh, that was, that was slightly, uh, slightly nuts. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because, yeah, top boom max out his, uh, his... I was, I was hoping just to get an extra sink in there and then get, boom, like, get one, like, big gunk shot in there, but... Oh, well. Damn. So, since we did mention, um, her having the, the strongest, uh, again, by no, far, not even close, right? Not. I think she's, what, like, probably four times harder than, like, the second strongest... Poison type nuker, right? So uh, since she does have that, let's go ahead and try it out. Let's uh, EX her over here, All right. and let's uh, let's bring her in. Wow, that looks Perfect. much nicer looks than right to the top. than I thought it would have. Damn. Wow. Anyways, um, I'm uh yeah, I'm impressed so far. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's let's go in. So um, it isn't like the easiest to get, right? Um, you do need, first of all, you, you, need, you need the poisoning, right? And you do need uh, the stats lord for the opponents, which she does do both, right? Um, but within three turns, uh, not, not, not super easy to do, <laughs> I guess. 
So um, hopefully, let's see, where's where's the grid where Iris has that extra chance to uh, help um, poison? Doesn't she have that, or is that on her um, on her passive toxic chance? Okay. All right. So so we do need that uh, Iris's thirty percent chance to uh to come through for us, which is a, which is gonna be hard. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, the only unit in the game that could uh. That could uh, poison zone at the moment, so <laughs> yeah. Again, uh, she's just not a great poison zone setter. Oh, we got that one in at least, so that's really, really good. Thank you very much, Iris. All right, so uh, we got that taken care of, and there we go. Venom Drench minus three attack, minus three special attack, minus three speed, all at once, immediately, no questions asked. But it's easy, man. There we go. Minus six. Yeah. On turn, you know, I guess turn three, because, yeah, we have to spend one turn buffing and, you know, whatnot. <laughs> but still. Right? Anyways, here it is. The strongest poison nuke in the game. By far the strongest poison nuke in the game. Wow. Okay, that almost hit the, uh, the old damage limit there straight up. That's another 18k. This is not even, because there's no DPS in this grid, right? It's straight up no DPS in this grid, all nuke stuff. No DPS in the grid. And that's still hit for 18k without support EX. It is like stage one here with the physical move thing, right? But still, that's a lot. That is a lot, folks. That is a lot. Anyways. Mmm. Wow. Look, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know Emma does more like DPS. But I'd say, like, as the overall damage healer, right? I don't know, man. I feel like Oleana is better. I do feel like Oleana is better. Right? Just because just cause of the nuke and, and the max move as well, which, uh, you know. A lot of the other uh, units don't exactly have something as good as this. Going for them. Um, can we go for another sink before this is, uh, before the sound is over? We just got, like, we just got frozen for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, minute there. All right, here we go. At minus five, uh, physical attack there too. Yeah. Oh my God, the Bally poison just took it out. <laughs> That's the other thing too, right? That's the other thing. Because like one of my issues with uh, Fall Iris, it's not like a biggest deal in the world, but it just slightly irks me that oh, she's the poison zone unit, and then like she doesn't even badly poison. Like her passives only make it like regular poison, which is slightly annoying, right? Tog's chance, three percent just poison right same thing with uh, her acid tox chance it's only regular poison um but with only Anna's passive right uh all of your allies when they poison the opponent it turns into badly poison instead which is pretty cool versus um you know uh mass mode opponents that don't have that much poison resistance which is mostly poison weak stages right not too much uh, poison resistance and have a lot of hp right the more hp you give them the bigger those numbers go down by. <laughs> so, yeah, again, it's not, not just, as with you know, most other poison type damage dealers, it's not just the actual damage she does on her moves, max moves, sync moves, which is already a lot, but also that extra bit of badly poison damage, right? That extra badly poison damage, you know, the chip damage, it, it counts, man. Look at that thing. That thing just got one shot by a 14K, you know, badly poison chip. <laughs> so... <laughs> We, uh, yeah, we couldn't even get a chance to get a second sink in there with it, so. Yeah, so some of these parts do count. They do count. And I like it. And before we go, as usual, let's check out her sink bear story here. A day with Oleana. Again, I do think, I'm pretty sure she's my favorite Galarian character. Right? Unless I'm just completely missing someone off the top of my head. Uh, post Oleana picking up garbage with Garbador and called out to her. Oh look at that! They're uh, they're 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 you know helping the environment in their spare time. Pick up garbage, isn't that nice? Garbador picking up our garbage. Well, isn't that very efficient? Good use of resources. Uh, are you doing volunteer work? Is it her? Uh, yes. For crimes, crimes. They aren't that bad, you know. Just eternal darkness, blah blah blah. That's not that bad. Oh hello, post. <laughs> I guess it could look like that. <laughs> uh -huh. But no, I'm not volunteering, nor just cleaning up. I'm feeding garbage to Garbador, my partner Pokemon. Oh, she, she, yeah, she's no, no. Just had to frame it for like a, you know, personal reason. 
Mm, is it okay for her to get, eat garbage? <laughs> I knew that for the poison. I want to ask both. <sighs> oh, do you not know Garbodor biology? Oh, yeah. Are you not well versed in the intricate, you know, designs of, of the Garbodor biology? Well, you know, not, not really. Garbodor can convert the bar garbage. <laughs> the garbage she eats into poison. Uh, this makes Garbodor stronger, so actually we're training. Anyhow, it's been a while since I trained with Garbodor like this. Since uh -huh. I work as both vice president and a secretary, I don't often get a chance for serious battles. The adult <laughs> world can be complicated. Well, land y'all in jail. Uh, but while I'm here, I can battle without having to worry, worry about grown-up matters. Passio's a great place. Yes, she, yeah, yeah, she, 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 she very much thinks that. I gain strength from training even before changing my image, and by using that strength, I'll continue to be of service to Mr. Rose. Oh, is she referring to, um, younger Eliana? Like, the one that we saw in, um, in, uh, what was Siri called again? Twilight Wings, right? I love that episode, by the way. Oh, <laughs> curious. <laughs> oh my god, I love her image. No. My past before I changed my image is top secret. I cannot tell you. But, if you oh, want to see right. a move I was good at, even back then, I'd be happy to show you anytime. Tell me what I got, Dynamaxing? People from Galar are good at. Huh, you haven't any clue, have you? Allow if me I to admit. explain what you've been seeing on past your Dynamaxing pairs. However, they're different from the Dynamax phenomenon in Galar. Furthermore, what my Garbador, Garbador uses is Gigantamax and... Alright, 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 ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I didn't need to ask. <laughs> I guess she just went on and on. <laughs> well, there it is, folks. Uh, anyways, um, good unit. Very, very, very nice. Uh, again, just, it gives you everything ex except for speed. Oh, yeah, just, you get some gauges and some speed, you know, buffs for your team if you do have some good base speed units. Uh, so it might not be that bad. But outside of that, right, from all three levels, DPS, the sync, the max move, right, the poison tick damage, right? This is a four level damage healer, man. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. Yeah. Is she, is she the best uh, poison unit in the game? Or offensive unit? I think so. 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 Anyways. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be this one, I guess. Hope you all enjoyed my guys. Thank you the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos. For more Palm Mouse content. I'll see you guys in the next one then.